Hello grade 11s. Today we are going to explore the properties of the hyperbolic graph. The standard equation we used in grade 10 for the hyperbola is y is equal to a over x plus q. a is the constant that determines which quadrant the hyperbola lies in, while q determines the horizontal asymptote and the vertical shift. But the hyperbola is not restricted to vertical shifts only. It can also shift horizontally. Here we have the basic hyperbola. f of x is equal to 2 over x. There is no q value in the equation, which means that the graph has not shifted up or down. Now on the same system of axes, let's draw what the same graph would look like after it has been shifted up two units. We'll name it h of x. The equation of the translated graph will be h of x equals 2 over x plus 2. Let's translate h of x three units to the right and call it g of x. Let's work out the equation of g of x. We'll do this by comparing the changes that happen to the x-intercept of h of x and g of x. Point A lies on h of x and has the coordinates of minus 1 and 0. We can say that x is equal to minus 1. Point B lies on g of x and has the coordinates 2 and 0. This means that x is equal to 2. Point B is the translation of three units to the right from point A, and there is a difference of three units between the x values. This means that the equation of g of x is equal to h of x minus 3, because there is a difference of 3 between negative 1 and 2. To determine the equation of g of x, we substitute to get h of x minus 3 equals 2 over x minus 3 plus 2. g of x is equal to h of x minus 3, which means we can say that g of x is equal to 2 over x minus 3 plus 2. This brings us to the new standard formula for a hyperbolic function. y is equal to a over x plus p plus q. The new standard form has an extra variable, p. We have already seen that this value will move the function to the right if it is negative. We can assume then that if p is positive, the function will move to the left. Let's go back to our plotted functions. The vertical asymptote of f of x is x equals 0. What would the vertical asymptote of g of x be? The vertical asymptote is x equals 3. Let's see how to find this using just the equation of the graph. To find the vertical asymptote of g of x, we need to make the denominator of the equation equal to 0. This gives us x minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, the vertical asymptote has an equation of x is equal to 3. This means that we can always find the vertical asymptote using the formula x is equal to negative p. Let's revise everything we know about the standard form of the hyperbolic function. The standard form is y is equal to a over x plus p plus q. a determines the shape and position of the function. If a is more than 0, the hyperbola lies in the first and third quadrant. If a is less than 0, it lies in the second and fourth quadrants. q can be used to find the horizontal asymptote using the formula y is equal to q. p can be used to find the vertical asymptote using the formula x is equal to negative p. Remember to try the task video for more questions on hyperbolas. 
You can also find more resources on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Goodbye.